Hello everybody. Welcome to my uh, Cisco CCNA training series. In this video, I'm going to sh uh, uh, to explain you the concept of uh, trunk uh, because I know a lot of students uh, don't uh, understand, uh, don't really understand the concept of trunk in VLAN. Uh, if you see up here in this diagram, I'm using uh, GNS3 and uh, actually you see those switch up here actually they act, they are routers but I just use them as a switch and the PC up here you see they are routers too but I just use them as PCs so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna uh, if you watch my previous video, I explain you what a VLAN is and why we need why we need a, a VLAN. Uh, the reason why uh, we have this uh, VLAN is uh, to have a different broadcast domain uh, and to make our network uh, traffic uh, more efficient. That's the reason why we are uh, we are using VLAN you have to keep that in mind so uh, 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 first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm, I'm using Genesis 3 and I'm, I'm gonna explain you why I use Genesis 3 to do this video because uh, I know you cannot use the real Cisco switch uh, the real Cisco switch in Genesis 3 so what I what I just do is uh, I just take uh, routers the 3600 routers and uh, make it as a switch and uh, if you see up here let me show you if you see up here I have 16 ports I have 16 ports and all these ports are layer 2 ports so uh, actually uh, we can say that this is a switch and on this router up here these pieces are routers but I just uh, change the symbol and uh, if you see up here the PC uh, is uh, 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 is acting like uh, the router is acting acting like a PC. On uh, and what I just do, I just go to 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 the configuration and I turn uh, off the routing. Uh, so uh, they act like uh, and and uh, like uh, end devices. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to switch one. And I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you the interfaces. Uh, I'm going to do show interfaces status. It's a very important command. Interfaces status. And uh, you see up here I have a 16 port on the switch. And you see all these ports belong to VLAN 1. So uh, right now, uh, by default the switch only uh, all the ports on the switch they belong to VLAN 1 uh, if you don't have any VLAN created the all the ports on your switch belong to VLAN 1 so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and show you this command the VLAN the show VLAN but for this uh, for this uh, this devices we're gonna have to use show VLAN VLAN switch VLAN switch and it's going to show us all the VLAN we have you see up here all the VLAN and you see this command up here if you are using a real Cisco switch it's going to be show VLAN only but since you are uh, using a router as a switch that's why we have a show VLAN switch so just keep that in mind but the concept is the same so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you all the VLAN we have by default on this on this switch up here. We have VLAN one, uh, and I show you all the the port on this uh, switch belong to VLAN one. You see up here, and these uh, four VLAN they are uh, they are uh, on the switch by default. Any switch you have, any Cisco switch you have, any Cisco switch you have will have these four VLANs. So just keep that in mind. So uh, what I'm gonna do right now is uh, I'm gonna go to 
I'm going to go to switch to and do the verification for switch to. Let me let me just go up here. Okay, I got switch to up here. I'm going to do the same uh, show interface status. Interface status. And you see up here, you see all this switch, all this uh, switch port, uh, uh, 16 port switch, and uh, they all uh, they all belong to VLAN one. So you can do the same thing uh, for the switch one. Do the show VLAN switch, VLAN switch. And it's gonna show us like the same thing because I I didn't have any configuration yet on this on this switch. So VLAN one appear like I say all the ports on this switch belong to VLAN one, and uh, these four VLANs are there but by default. So we don't we don't really care about these four VLANs. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna to go to my PCs. And you see these PCs. Uh, and on this switch, I don't do any configuration. I just uh, turn the switch on. And uh, what I'm do, what I what I what I did, I just uh, uh, give uh, IP address to those PCs. Uh, and the reason why I do that is I just want to show you that these PCs they now can communicate uh, together because they are on the same uh, same subnet. And since these the devices are like uh, the switch one and switch two are are uh, layer two devices, so this PC five will be able to communicate with PC four and PC three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to PC five and I'm gonna do ping one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot four. And you see up here right now. I just uh, because the reason why is when this. Let me explain you. When this device ping up here, uh, the packet is gonna come to switch to. Since uh, it is a layer two devices, it's not gonna look for, for the IP address. It's gonna look just for the MAC address, and it's gonna send this. Uh, it's gonna send this. Uh, this uh, since uh, switch to know about this device's MAC address, it's gonna send the packet to appear. Because uh, if you go to switch to, we're gonna do, we can do the show, show MAC address, show MAC address table, and indeed you see up here, uh, switch to just uh, learn about uh, this MAC address, and I and I know that. Uh, it is the MAC address of uh, PC4. That's the reason why you are able to ping from PC5 to PC4 because uh, switch to know about the MAC address. And uh, you see up here, these MAC address are uh, grouped by VLAN. Since we are only, we only have VLAN one, so they, all these MAC address is they going to be in VLAN one. But uh, just keep in mind that uh, uh, the reason why uh, PC5 who was were able to get to PC4 is because switch to know the MAC address of PC4 and uh, you, you know the rest of the story so uh, right now what I'm gonna show you is uh, I'm gonna show you uh, what is a trunk a trunk is uh, the link between two switches but uh, since these switches are acting like uh, routers are, are, uh, they are routers acting like a switch. Uh, this uh, link is not a uh, trunk by default. And uh, if I go to the uh, to switch two, you see switch two is connected to fast internet zero slash zero. Let me put it up here. Mm. Mm. Fast internet zero plus zero f zero plus zero and up here to 
f 0 slash 0 and if you go to to show uh, to check uh, this command up here let me show you show interface Facebook. So you see we don't have any trunk yet on this switch and uh, we can do show interface fast internet let's see zero slash zero we can add this uh, word trunk Okay, and you see up here, uh, this uh, this uh, interface should be trunking uh, in order for us to have a trunk. Let me show you up here. In order for us to have a trunk up here, this interface, uh, fast internet zero slash zero, should be a trunk. But if you see up here, let me explain you up here what this thing means this means the trunk mode is off so that means this interface is not in trunk mode so we don't have a trunk and this is the kind of encapsulation and this encapsulation is the language that the switch uh, uh, that the switch use to uh, over, the, over the trunk in order to to communicate between uh, between uh, devices and uh, this is uh, you see up here the status is not trunking because the mode up here is off you know and the native VLAN is VLAN 1 and uh, on the uh, next uh, coming video I'm, I will explain you what the native VLAN mean because uh, I need a big explanation on this concept of native VLAN but right now you just keep in mind that the star is up here if you see star is not trunk in that mean you don't have a trunk and in order to have a trunk what you need to do is you need to go to config t on the interface and say interface interface uh, f0 slash 0 and say switch port switch port let me use the help system switch port mode that's what you need to use switch port mode uh, and you see up here you only have two options uh, switch port mode trunk or switch port mode access and the access uh, means uh, that the, the port will only accept one, only one VLAN and if you put it on the trunk mode the trunk uh, will carry all the VLAN uh, by default so that's why we have a trunk because the trunk uh, link will carry all the VLAN by default just keep that in mind so and we press enter and uh, and you see up here we just receive a message it says trunk port FA has become a dark that one key uh, like what I showed you this is the encapsulation I was showing you that one key so let's go back to the show interface fast internet trunk and you see now it said the mode is on and the, uh, the status is trunky so that means we have a trunk right now and the language that the switch use is 802.1 key this is the language they use in order to to establish the trunk so just keep that in mind so uh, uh, right now the trunk I configure the trunk on this uh, interface but the problem is the link is not working right now because uh, uh, switch 2 doesn't have uh, doesn't have a trunk doesn't have a trunk yet let's go to switch 2 and I'm going to show you switch 2 is up here so if you do show interface interface fa 0 slash 0 uh, uh, 
follow by a keyword trunk. I guess it's trunk here. Yeah. Uh, trunk. And you see here, uh, it's not trunking. The mod is off. Encapsulation, that's the language. And status is not trunking. So the trunk is, even though we have uh, we have the trunk enabled on the switch 2, switch 1, uh, and uh, the, this interface doesn't have a trunk trunking enabled yet. So, uh, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to go to PC, PC5. I'm going to try to ping PC4 again to see if we still have the connection. Uh, I'm gonna go to PC5 and I'm gonna try to ping again and you see the ping is uh, is failing right now and the reason why the ping is failing because uh, the trunk is not we don't have a trunk so if I uh, if I send uh, the ping up here from PC5 to PC4 what is happening right now is uh, uh, if I send uh, this uh, this uh, ping up here from PC5 to PC4, it's going to come to switch 2. But this link is broken right now because we have a mismatch, uh, mismatch, uh, uh, I mean mismatch interface because this interface is not set to trunk, and this one this one is trunky. So uh, they will not be they will not be able to pass the communication from this uh, link. Uh, we switch to will not be able to pass this communication to switch one so in order for pc4 to get this uh, this uh, 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 this ping right here that's why the ping is failing so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna i'm gonna go to switch to uh, go to switch to and i'm gonna do the configuration for the interface uh, fast internet f0 slash 0 and uh, I'm going to do a switch port switch port mod trunk now I'm going to press enter and uh, you see now the trunk is, uh, is up so let's uh, do the verification by doing the show interface trunk and now you see up here the, the, the 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 interface is trunking right now the interface is strong and now the trunk is established the link trunk should be working right now so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to pc5 i'm going to go to pc5 again and i'm going to do the ping to see if the, the trunk is working and now you see the ping is working because we have the trunk so uh, uh, that's the uh, the reason why I do this video. I just want to show you, explain you the concept of trunk. Uh, I didn't do any any VLAN configuration. I didn't add any VLAN on this switch. But uh, on the next video, I will show you uh, how I can add uh, how you can add VLAN and assign those uh, interface to the VLAN. And uh, we gonna do some some demonstration and how the the uh, how the communication happen from one switch to another uh, between the VLAN and uh, so uh, that was it for this video and I hope this video will help you understand the concept of trunk and uh, if you want you can use this diagram as a, as a study guide for your for your for your for your trunking studies you know uh, so i would like to thank you for watching this video and i will see you for the next one uh, thank you